Um, I applied for $1,200 and received every penny, very fortunately. It's from DonorsChoose.org. It is a website where educators can set up a page, and if there's anything they need for their classrooms, they can ask for donations from, from anybody. My project is for a project called Crazy Traits. They are crazy creatures you can build to help students learn about patterns of inheritance, about genetics, heredity, and also next semester we'll use it to talk about um, natural selection and survival of the fittest. Capital T, lowercase T is purple. Hands, paws. Antenna, short. Antenna shape, knob. Tail, long. And wings, no wings. Why'd you get the eyebrows? So first they have to find out the traits of their creatures. They have to discover the genotype using some coins to find the alleles. The two types of genes that, that come together. That come together to form an allele. They're made up of two genes from a mother and a father. They're going to see two sample parents. I'm going to tell them the genotypes of our sample parents. And then they are going to flip coins of the, with the alleles from those parents to find out what are some of the crazy combinations of traits that their offspring could have. Very colorful. It has paws. Show me. These paws. A webbed foot. How does this investigation explain why offspring may resemble their parents but never look exactly like them? The recessive trait showed through in our crazy creature and it might show through in like human babies. Codominance is going to be the trait where if you get the dominant allele and the recessive allele that it shows both of them. So when you look at your creature, the eyes. there you go, the eyes, perfect. The eyes. It follows exactly with our curriculum. Um, several of our goals, our grade level expectations are for students to be able to know how our traits pass from parents to offspring and how can um, organisms best survive in their environments. It has no wings and short antennas and it's female. It's got paws for hands and it's got red and green eyes. But at least half of the funding did come from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and the last of our funding did come from our school PTO they chipped into.